All right, thank you, Nick, for that. Now, we do want to start by looking at the spread of the coronavirus in our area this morning. The average number of daily new cases in Kansas City in the metro is down compared to what it was a week ago. The number of new daily hospitalizations, that's up to 146. You're looking at the rolling seven-day average right now. That's a total of more than 64,000 cases and 884 deaths in our nine-county area since the spring, since the pandemic began. And the Olathe School District has announced that it will continue with its current learning plan right now. That's despite a serious spike in cases in Johnson County and a letter sent to parents. The administration said in person learning will continue for elementary school students while middle and high school students. They'll stick with the hybrid learning model. The letter notes that while Johnson County is now in that red zone when it comes to spread, the Johnson County Health Department has not recommended any changes to learning models because the issue stems from the community, not from schools. According to the district's COVID-19 dashboard, 161 students Students are in quarantine along with 71 staff members right now. And Olathe is not the only district responding to the county spike in cases. And today, the Shawnee Mission School Board will hold a special meeting to discuss the situation. KBC 9's Matt Evans is live this morning to break down what we expect to learn today. Hi, Matt. Uh, good morning. That meeting between the uh, Shawnee Mission School Board and the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment will be happening here in Overland Park at the district's headquarters later on uh, this evening as cases rise across our community. This is happening at 6 o'clock tonight. The uh, Shawnee Mission School Board saying that this meeting is meant to be an open dialogue with the health department regarding case numbers in COVID-19 gating criteria. Last week, the county reached the red zone in that criteria, which begins at more than 250 cases cases per 100,000 people in the past two weeks. That number, as you can see in this uh, snapshot from the dashboard from this morning, has now doubled with 578 positive cases per 100,000 people in the county in the past couple of weeks. Uh, Donna, as you mentioned, the health department has not recommended a shift to full virtual learning yet. There are also a number of current COVID-19 cases in the Shawnee Mission School District with 53 staff in active isolation due to positive or presumptive positive cases and 315 students are in active isolation as well. The board meeting, like most this year, will be limited in seating. There will be COVID-19 protocols and procedures in place, but it will be streamed on the district's website. It's unclear what action, if any, the Shawnee Mission School Board will be taking during this meeting. Live in Overland Park this morning, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. We'll be watching, Matt. Thank you. Johnson County Health Department is holding free COVID-19 testing all through the week. Goes from 8 to 2 every day. The department's Olathe office on Sunset Drive. Now, you do not need to have symptoms to go get a test. Make an appointment at jococovorg slash coronavirus. And when it comes to the virus, you can count on us. Count on KNBC 9 News for the information you need. We are tracking everything. The spread of the virus, its impact, as well as the race for treatments and a vaccine. Be sure to download our KNBC 9 News app so you never miss an update.